Welcome to the lecture on angular distortion in welds. So, we talked about the longitudinal as well as uh, transverse shrinkages and uh, now we will have uh, you know uh, some description about the angular distortion in the welds. So, angular distortion occurs in uh, you know, butt lap T uh, cruciform and other uh, you know joints like corner joints as a result of single sided as well as a symmetrical double sided welding. So, uh, in those cases you are likely to uh, encounter the angular uh, you know distortion. Now, this extent of these um, you know angular shrinkage it will be uh, depending upon many factors and they are like uh, width and depth of the uh, fusion zone relative to the uh, plate thickness. Then you have the uh, type of joint, you have the weld pass sequence, thermomechanical uh, you know material properties and uh, uh, characteristic parameter of the uh, welding uh, processes. So, they are just like you have heat input per unit length. So, depending upon the joint you know you have to calculate those things and also the distribution of uh, heat uh, source intensity. So, I mean heat source uh, density. So, that way you know these uh, factors basically they will be affecting your know, these uh, you know angular distortions uh, uh, extent. Now, the thing is that uh, uh, there are certain uh, correlations which uh, talk about uh, you know the uh, you know dependence of uh, these angular shrinkage and uh, with the different uh, factors how they are uh, varying. So, if suppose uh, you are changing the uh, velocity so or heat input you know uh, per unit length. So, that way uh, you have uh, you know there are variations uh, you know. So, if suppose uh, uh, if you want to see that if suppose uh, in this graph if uh, the ordinate is the angular string case. So, uh, for the and if you take this uh, uh, you know CSA as heat input per unit length. of weld. So, mm, that is uh, you know uh, for per unit length you want to have the uh, you know heat input and this is angular shrinkage. So, uh, you know if uh, you try to see for the uh, you know different uh, you know velocities. So, this uh, curve comes like uh, you know this way it goes. So, you have uh, this is in the term of um, radiance and uh, as you see that uh, uh, you know when the velocity will be somewhat smaller then it will uh, go like that. So, if suppose this is uh, for the uh, 12 meter per second this is 10 meter per second similarly this will be 7.5 meter per second something like that. So, this uh, variation talks that depending upon the velocity and also heat input per unit length of the weld how this angular shrinkage will um, vary. So, uh, we will talk about uh, the uh, angular distortion in the uh, butt welds. So, if we uh, typically talk about the angular distortion in uh, butt welds. So, angular distortion in butt weld is uh, you know uh, uh, is occurring when the uh, transverse shrinkage is not uniform. So, when uh, you, you know the transverse uh, uh, shrinkage is not uniform. in thickness direction. So, in those cases when the you know transverse shrinkage which is um, uh, there in the thickness direction is not uniform. So, in those cases these uh, you know angular deformations may uh, result into and uh, uh, you know it can, can it can be reduced by uh, taking a suitable type of joint. So, maybe normally uh, if you go for the double V type of uh, joint then uh, this can be minimized. Uh, and uh, even it can be almost 0. So, uh, what is happening in the case of uh, if you take the um, uh, different you know a typical uh, double uh, V type of uh, joint. So, you will have this is your uh, joint. So, uh, and, and this is uh, your uh, thickness so on this side. So, in this case if you take this as the T 1 
and this is your T 2. So, so, this is uh, your T 3 and this is uh, suppose T 2 you are taking. So, T 1, T 2 you can have the uh, similar values. Now, in this case uh, we are taking you know for a root gap G. So, uh, you know that is uh, taken as suppose 3 mm and uh, if you take the uh, root face T 3 also. So, uh, you know T 3 is taken as uh, 2 mm. So, that is your uh, root face. So, in this case uh, uh, what is happening is uh, uh, that uh, you have uh, you can minimize this based on the condition that if you take T 1 plus uh, T 3 by 2 divided by T that should be 0 0.6. Uh, uh, so, for that uh, you can minimize or you can even avoid uh, any kind of uh, you know angular shrinkage uh, in such uh, you know joints. Now, if you uh, come to the fillet wells, so if you go to uh, a typical fillet well, so in the case of uh, you know uh, uh, fillet uh, well, uh, you know what happens that uh, if suppose uh, uh, this is uh, your so, this way you may have the uh, distortion here. So, this is so here you will have uh, you know this is your uh, fillet joint and uh, here you have the uh, uh, you know uh, space is left. So, you will have uh, you know here. So, um, uh, if you look at this this is your uh, uh, angular distortion. So, this this becomes your angular distortion. And uh, this is the thickness of uh, the, uh, the, the the structure which is to be uh, welded, and this is your uh, you know leg length. So this is your L. So uh, so this is uh, this is the amount which is uh, known as angular distortion that is uh, delta. Similarly, uh, for the uh, you know for uh, double uh, fillet T joint, so you may have the you know if, if you take the double one. So, it, it, it goes like uh, this one and you have again we have seen that this is your uh, you know fillet leg length. So, uh, you will have this uh, you know length L and then this is your uh, thickness that is uh, T uh, this becomes your uh, W. So, uh, uh, that is also in, in this case also this is your W and uh, so in the, this in this case uh, your uh, this uh, and this so this becomes your uh, angular distortion. So, this way angular distortion is um, you know um, signified in the case of um, fillet weld. Now, in these cases angular distortion is uh, measured using a uh, formula. So, uh, this comes as uh, so we call it as uh, uh, delta A and that becomes equal to 0 0.0076 W L raised to the power 1 by 3 and divided by T square. So, this way uh, you uh, measure this uh, angular distortion in these cases we know these uh, standard terminologies. So, your W becomes uh, flange width then uh, your L becomes uh, the uh, weld leg length and uh, so that is again this is in mm this is also in mm and uh, then remains the T. So, T will be your flange thickness. So, this way uh, you can uh, uh, calculate uh, you know the value of the angular distortion. So, you can uh, have uh, uh, you know uh, many a times you can uh, come across the you know uh, numerical problems based on uh, uh, these uh, you know uh, type of uh, well geometries where you have to find you know the uh, uh, the suppose angular distortion. So, uh, so you can uh, have say uh, so suppose you have to uh, find the angular distortion and uh, for that, so you have to find uh, in an angular distortion to find 
angular distortion in a double fillet weld of T joint. So, that is what has been shown and uh, between a flange. So, that is uh, uh, 1000 mm wide and a vertical member when thickness of both members is 6 mm and weld leg length is given as 8 mm. So, uh, such just like uh, uh, the cases we studied. So, if you know you know in, in this case also you had uh, known to these uh, uh, thickness of the uh, members that is 6 mm then weld length, leg length um, that is L. So, that is uh, given as the uh, you know value 8 mm. So, you have to uh, and your uh, uh, you know uh, flange uh, dimension also is given as uh, 1000 mm. So, you can have uh, the uh, value by putting these numerical values into the um, expression and uh, accordingly you can uh, find the, the angular distortion uh, value. So, you will have uh, you know uh, that is uh, 0 0.0076. So, that is the constant then you have uh, the uh, value of uh, uh, w. So, w is your 1000 and then you have l raised to the power 1 by uh, that is uh, 1.3 it was 1.3 basically not well, this is 4 by 3. So, it becomes you know so or, or better you can take 1.3. So, that will be uh, your 8 uh, then uh, this l raised to the power 1.3 and then divided by T square. So, T is uh, uh, you know T is already shown thickness is uh, 6 mm. So, 6 square. So, that way uh, you can have the uh, calculation of uh, uh, these dimensions and if you do it you will uh, get somewhere close to 3.15 mm. So, this way uh, we calculate uh, the uh, value of the angular distortion. Now, uh, we will talk about uh, the uh, you know uh, multiple restraint uh, fillet welds. So, uh, many a times we need to have because uh, we have the fillet welds and we have the restraint at many points. So, in those cases uh, how to find the uh, you know angular distortion. So, uh, you know for that uh, as we see uh, uh, in the case of uh, you know, multiple restraint fillet whales, so uh, you know in, in, in those cases uh, because uh, as you see that uh, you will have the uh, weld uh, you know and, and you have the restraint at many sides. So, restraint between two points is there. So, what will be the you know angular deflection? So, angular distortion in fact that can be uh, found out and that, that is found out by using the uh, you know formula delta by L it will be equal to 1 by 4 phi minus x by L minus 1 by 2 and this is uh, phi. So, what we do is uh, uh, we have uh, these terminologies. So, in this case uh, your uh, delta is angular distortion. and then uh, you have L as the span length, phi is the angular change that is in radians So, these two are in uh, mm and uh, x is the uh, the distance uh, you know to at, at which uh, you have to find that uh, angular distortion. So, uh, distance from weld to point where distortion is to be determined. So, 
So, uh, you can have the example of suppose, uh, so, so your well member comes like this. So, uh, this is uh, you know th this way it goes. So, then you will have uh, another fillet. So, you have the, the fillet wells here. So, this way your uh, fillet well will uh, you know go like this. So, you will have fillet wells. So, these are basically the uh, these are the example of free joint. So, here you have the free joint and there is no constraint. Whereas, uh, similar uh, you know in, in these cases you will may have the uh, constraint here. So, uh, you know your uh, uh, you know this 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 comes. So, this way it will uh, it will move and uh, then you will have uh, you know another constraint which is uh, here. So, you will have the you know so and after that uh, it it suppose uh, goes like this so you may have uh, another uh, you know fillet uh, uh, joint so um, that way you know this uh, and you have the so this is the example of the uh, restrained joints now uh, in this case uh, this is your uh, you know the uh, value of l what uh, uh, you know, uh, we mean to say, and uh, we mean to calculate. And in this case, uh, the the distortion which is uh, there, so that is basically here from uh, uh, you get these. Uh, you know, so in fact, here this is your uh, angular distortion, and uh, this is your uh, if you take from here. So this becomes your angular. You know. Uh, change in radiance. So, this way you, you, you have to have the value of the angular change and from there you can calculate the uh, you know value of uh, the angular distortion. So, that is uh, you know uh, how you are going to have the uh, value of uh, the angular distortion being calculated when you know all these uh, parameters. So, uh, you can uh, we can solve a problem suppose uh, we are given uh, you know uh, a problem and uh, in that problem uh, we have to calculate uh, this uh, you know angular distortion and uh, for that uh, you know uh, what we uh, do is uh, that you have a uh, to calculate in a multiple restrained uh, weld fillet weld so span length is given as a uh, 1 meter and uh, angular change is uh, given as uh, you know 9 degree. So, uh, and that is given at a distance of uh, you know 400 mm, meter mm uh, from span end. Now, what we uh, you know need to know in this uh, uh, you know uh, in this uh, case. So, uh, so, as we see that uh, you have angular change is given as 9 degree. So, you have to convert that into uh, radians. So, you will have delta by L. So, if the delta by L it will be uh, you know 1 by 4 phi minus uh, x by L minus 1 by 2 and raised to the power 2 into phi. So, that is what uh, you know. Uh, so, here it is uh, raised to the power 2. So, that is that 2 was missing. So, uh, this is the uh, you know uh, formula. So, we have to calculate uh, delta. So, your L is given as uh, you know 1000 mm and uh, you know, phi is 9 degrees. So, 9 degrees to be converted into radians. So, we know that it is uh, pi radian is 180 degree. So, 9 into pi by 180. So, it will be something like 0 0.1571 radian. Then uh, you know x, x is uh, you know to be calculated. So, x will be you know you are uh, doing it uh, uh, from uh, so 400 meter from the uh, span end. So, if you take the x, x will be basically uh, you know L by 2 minus 400. So, uh, so accordingly uh, you will uh, get this uh, 1000 by 2 minus 400. So, it will be uh, 100 mm. So, uh, in that case uh, you are uh, going to have the calculation of. So, once you know all these uh, uh, values, so you can have the uh, you know calculation of delta. 
So, uh, delta will be uh, you, you put those uh, values and then uh, multiply it with the uh, span length. So, that uh, so this uh, uh, you know L into 0 0.0 uh, 1416 is the value which is coming. So, if you put those uh, value on 5 by 4, so 5 you know that 4 minus uh, this on, on this everything uh, knowing you can calculate. So, it will be 14.164 mm. So, that way uh, you will have uh, the uh, deflection uh, you know. So, uh, 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 calculated angular distortion which is calculated you know uh, for uh, uh, such cases. Now, uh, in a uh, you know am amount of angular change that is uh, phi in a restrained structure uh, that will be smaller than the amount of uh, uh, phi which is there in a free joint basically and uh, uh, that phi uh, will also be uh, depending upon the you know uh, the rigidity of the uh, bottom plate. So, uh, you can have uh, the value of uh, you know the uh, that uh, rigidity calculation or, or amount of phi that is calculated. So, you know, phi in, in those cases uh, you know uh, relation between the uh, free and the uh, you know restrained angular distortion that can be uh, found out by uh, you know phi naught divided by 1 plus 2 d by L into 1 by C. So, phi is the distortion in a uh, constrained uh, you know design. So, you have uh, uh, the restrained structure that is phi and when you have no restraint. So, that is your phi naught. So, in that case uh, you know the uh, the, uh, the their uh, correlation is uh, found like this phi equal to phi naught divided by 1 plus 2 d by L into 1 by C and your D is basically E t cube into 12 into 1 minus nu square. So, that way in this case we know that this E is the modulus of elasticity. So, that is you know taken in terms of kg per mm square and uh, other things like T will be your uh, thickness and nu is basically the Poisson ratio. So, uh, so basi basically uh, your uh, you can find this uh, you know and in this expression you have another constant that is C. So, C is basically a constant which is determined uh, based on the welding conditions and the plate thickness. So, that C is basically a function of uh, so that will be T 4 upon 1 plus W by 5. So, uh, basically again uh, your uh, T is the uh, plate thickness and uh, W is the uh, weld uh, you know weight of uh, weld deposited uh, weld metal that is deposited. So, that is uh, per unit weld length. So, uh, so accordingly you can uh, you know uh, find so that will be uh, your that will be your weld cross section and then uh, you have to uh, multiply that uh, uh, with the uh, density of the uh, weld metal and then you are further uh, you know uh, uh, you know dividing it uh, with the uh, you know deposition efficiency. So, that can be you know uh, computed uh, using uh, the formula. So, that, that uh, will be weld cross section and uh, then that will be multiplied by the density of weld metal and uh, that will be divided by you know uh, deposition efficiency. So, uh, accordingly you can uh, you know calculate. So, from here if you put all these um, values you can have the value of um, phi. So, uh, if you uh, try to have the plot of the free angular dis uh, distortion you know uh, and it has been found that if you do it for the uh, you know shielded metal arc welding where there is a uh, 5 mm dielectrode is uh, you know taken. So, a result uh, can be drawn and uh, it, it can be seen that uh, you know how this uh, angular change for the free end will be uh, varying and uh, that you know uh, comes like uh, you have uh, such kind of uh, you know graph you get where this, this is your uh, angular change uh, in the radian 
and uh, on the uh, you know x axis you have the uh, thickness of the you know uh, plate that is in mm. So, and if you look at this, this is your log 10 w and that is uh, taken as 1 0 0.8, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4. So, uh, you know for, for the different values you have uh, and the different uh, you know graphs uh, which can be you know seen you know. So, that way uh, you can calculate take the value of the you know, phi naught from here. So, you know uh, this graph uh, can be interpreted in a uh, in the way that you can say that if you are using the 5 mm dia electrode. So, you know the maximum an, uh, angular distortion which uh, is uh, being seen here. Now, that is uh, observed for the uh, you know uh, plate uh, you know uh, thickness of 9 mm here. So, that is what uh, you see that uh, you have this. Uh, uh, you know uh, the, the the split thickness. So here you are getting the maximum. Uh, you know uh, angular distortion is uh, found for that uh, uh, dimension. Now, if uh, your uh, plate thickness is uh, thinner than this uh, nine mm, then uh, the uh, you know that that angular distortion is reduced due to uh, more even heating of the plate. So when the thickness is less. And uh, when uh, you know the uh, thickness is more, uh, in the, in that case, the uh, it has reduced because of the uh, increased rigidity. Because once the uh, thickness is becoming more, so rigidity of the uh, you know joint becomes more. So that way, your uh, uh, you know angular distortion further reduces. So that may be the justification for the change in the value of the angular distortion. Uh, now, if you talk about the uh, angular distortion in the uh, butt wheels, so there also you have uh, you know uh, in the form of buckling and warping also that uh, occurs and uh, uh, that is uh, you know happening because of the two halves which are trying to move relative to each other and also you have the uh, you know uh, non-uniform uh, you know uh, temperature development. So, uh, angular deformation in uh, you know butt whales. So, the angular distortion uh, when we talk about in uh, butt whales. So, in those cases uh, uh, as you see that uh, you have uh, uh, you know so uh, uh, you have these uh, local deformation uh, will be occurring in terms of buckling and warping and the reasons may be uh, you know uh, because of the uh, uh, two halves rotating relative to each other so uh, that is uh, due to non uh, you know non uniform temperature uh, development through thickness So, that is the you know basic reason for the angular distortion in the uh, butt whales and also uh, the next, uh, second reason is the, uh, the loss in strength of welded plates. So, uh, this is uh, because of the uh, longitudinal you know uh, contracting stretches. So, these are the uh, reasons uh, because of which these angular distortion in the uh, butt wells occur and you can have the uh, ways to basically reduce them. So, you have seen that in the expression. So, increasing the thickness or so or increasing the rigidity. So, that way you can have the control on these angular distortion in the butt wells. Thank you very much.